It's Affirmation Sunday. How you doing? Ashley, comment down below because I care. <laughs> This is your girl Sam. Welcome or welcome back to another affirmation Sunday. Okay, if this is your first one, what is up? Welcome to the family. We have a great time over here. We are about to have another beautiful, positive week. If you checked out last week's video, I am unique, valuable, and worthy. Definitely let me know how you felt. Did you have a great week? I have seven self-discovery journal prompts that I found on Pinterest. Basically, what you're gonna do is go to Walmart, Target, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, wherever you want to go. They got these journals, okay? They got a journal section, $4.99 to about, I say $15.99. You can find beautiful journals. And every single day, you're going to take a blank page and you're going to write the journal prompt down. And every day, you're going to go in here and you are going to journal with that prompt, okay? And then, I want you to let me know next Sunday how you felt after utilizing this. You know what? This bun keep falling down, so I think I'm going to just let this one down too because I'm not about to play with my head today, okay? Yeehaw. And so, the very first journal prompt, what can I do every morning to increase and greet the day with enthusiasm and vitality, okay? What gets you out of bed? What makes you say, you know what? Today is about to be a fire day, okay? Let me tell you for me what I do every single day on my personal Instagram page. I bring a daily dose of positivity and getting up every day and doing that is honestly what has been very, very, very enthusiastic feeling for me. I enjoy it and it's just been so powerful for me and so liberating for me and so just, just... It just feeds my soul. And every single day, I look forward to getting up and saying, you know what? I came with you to have the most beautiful day ever. And I know I say that a lot, but I be feeling it. It's all about love. It's all about vibes. It's all about passion and living out our dreams and living out our fullest potential because, baby, we all got it within us, okay? So every single morning, what gets you up? What makes you enthusiastic? What greets you every single day? I don't care if it's a cup of coffee. Get up and say, you know what? I can't wait to get that coffee in the morning. It's going to make me feel so good. It's going to be the start of a beautiful day. Or if you do tea or if you go ahead and you journal, okay because journaling is a great way to get your day started you can write down a list of things that you are grateful for you can go ahead and say you know what what made me upset or what caused me to have a off night and leave it in the journal and let it go and move forward into the next day because guess what none of that stuff that happened yesterday even matter anymore okay don't bring it to today. I always tell y'all today is innocent. It ain't got nothing to do with yesterday. It ain't got nothing to do with tomorrow. We only have this present moment. Love on it. Utilize it. Be with it presently. Okay, period. So the next journal project, what are my three biggest goals this week, okay? And these are not in any particular order, but these are great prompts that I feel like are good to start the week off with. It gives you a starting point. And then these other journal prompts are just like fuel, fuel to the car. Okay, we love to use the car analogy. We all in our own lane, right? You remember from last week? If you didn't watch last week's positive affirmation video, definitely go ahead and check that one out. Okay, three goals this week. What are three goals this week? I'm sure, these are goals that you are going to make sure you check off your list this week, okay? And you can go in depth because this is your journal. These are your prompts. You ain't got nobody telling you, oh, you ain't going to be able to do that this week. Mm -mm -hmm. Y'all know who I am. Mind your business. Do your own thing. Write your three goals down this week. And we are about our business, okay? Oh, this is a good one, y'all. What is currently not helping you and needs to be removed from your to-do list? Oh, my goodness, okay? We have a lot of things that don't even matter on our plate, okay? Let me tell you right now. <laughs> if it doesn't bring you joy, happiness, peace, Love isn't help. It isn't helping you reach a goal. If it isn't allowing you to love on other people, it needs to just be like sliced off the to do list. Okay. Sometimes we put energy into the wrong things, and a lot of times we forget or we don't know. And it's okay to be ignorant to a few things, but one thing about it is. Am I going to learn from this experience? Am I going to learn from slashing this off my to-do list? Or let me tell you right now, sometimes slashing off the to-do list is going out and be around other people. Sometimes you need to say, you know what, today I'm not going to make it to this. I'm going to just take some time myself. I'm going to go home and write. I need to go home and let out all this frustration, all this steam, or even put all this joy into this notebook because this is what feeds my soul or this is what will help me move to the next step in my life or get to the next day. You feel me? Because I want to wake up and start over tomorrow with that enthusiasm and that power and that knowledge and that love that, you know what, I'm still on the road to 
positive experiences, okay? Because let me tell y'all something right now. I haven't always been a morning person, and I'm just throwing this in here. Let me tell you, even a year ago, y'all get me up in the morning. I'll be like, don't talk to me. Nobody. Like, give me two, three hours. And I'm like, you know what? I'm up. It's a brand new day. It might take me a little minute to get the crusties out my arms. And then I'm like, you know what? It's another day. I'm happy to be here. I'm alive. I'm well. I'm healthy. I got my people around me. I'm here in love, period. Let's get into this day, okay? That's how I get up and do my positivity post. You know, it's about being real with yourself, feeling your feelings. Come on, y'all. We can do this together, okay? So write down those three goals this week. So far, we are getting up with enthusiasm. We are writing down our goals for the week. We are going ahead and taking things that don't matter off our to-do list because if it ain't bringing you what you need, let it go, okay? Even if it don't feel too good, you get through it. All this stuff be temporary, y'all. That's what we got to remember as well, okay? On to number four. In what ways does my body take care of me? Y'all, our bodies are brilliant. Our bodies tell us everything, especially if everything, if all of our receptors are working in our body, because sometimes neurology, neurology, neurologically, 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 I can't pronounce it right now, but when our brains tell us to do things and we don't listen, we see, right? So let's take it for instance. Let me tell you right now. So for me, anytime I have way too much sugar, right, my body will tell me by popping a pimple up on my face somewhere. Like, I barely get acne. If you haven't checked out my skincare routine, definitely check that video. I would just do my updated one because your skin, girl, has been doing what it needs to do. You feel it, okay? But back to what I was saying, anytime I eat too much sugar, my skin tells me by popping up a pimple. And I'm like, you know what? Let me go get a lot of water and let me slow down on the sugar. Our bodies will tell us every single thing it needs. You know what? At the end of the day, when you feel like we didn't did a lot and you're trying to stay up for two or three more hours, but them eyes is telling you, that head is telling you it's heavy, go lay down. And you don't, you start feeling a little like loopy, you feel a little delusional. It's just like, I should have just laid down. So our bodies are able and capable of telling us as long as everything is working on a health level and the right ways, you will be fine. Your body will tell you exactly what it needs in that moment. Listen to our bodies, okay? Our bodies are here to take care of us. And that's exactly why I went on this health journey a couple years ago. That's exactly why I went on a weight loss journey a, health, a couple years ago. Because my body was telling me that it needed a change. And I did it. And look at me now. Your girl is looking like she's looking. And that's on her. Okay. It's like, no. Seriously, though. No. Number five is what makes you feel powerful? We are all powerful human beings. The one thing that we have the power of is controlling the way we think and the choices that we make, okay? Sometimes they aren't the best choices, and that goes for any human being, anybody. Sometimes we don't do the best thing, but it's all right. It's a part of life. Either the situation is going to help you or it's going to be a lesson learned. Now, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, <laughs> can't get fooled again. I, you, you, you fool you twice, you know, so learn from it and don't do it again type energy but always remember that the power is everything and you have all the power within you to do what you need to do to get through this week okay don't never take my power my power my power you feel the way wow how are y'all feeling so far do y'all feel like these journal prompts are helping y'all out comment down below because y'all I feel like these are going to definitely help someone have a great week, even myself, because I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write these prompts down and I'm going to journal them together with y'all, okay? We might not do them on the same day, but we're going to get them done. And by next Sunday, these journal prompts are going to be nice and filled out. I'm going to hold y'all to this. Make sure you fill them out. And let me know, next Sunday, did you fill out all seven journal prompts? Because every week we're going to do a review of the last week to get into this week. So this is like a flow. You feel it. Yeah, feel the flow. This is like kind of like teacher thing, but not like teacher thing. It's like oh, fresh air. You know what? That's what I want this to be. My platform is a breath of fresh air, and that's on period. If you want a breath of fresh air, come journal with me. So we're going to get into number six. Ooh, and I love this one, okay? It says, what helps me to slow down and become more present, okay? So I'm just going to just give you all my honest answer with this one, okay? What makes me think and get into the moment that I am in right now. Like right now, we are present with one another. We are getting journal prompts ready for the week. 
That is me being present. This is me being with you all. I am here. My mind isn't on anything else but this camera and me telling you all that guess what? These journal prompts are going to help us with this self-discovery journal because we deserve to know ourselves. How can someone else know us if we don't even know ourselves? Food for thought, you know? And last but not least, y'all, y'all bored. Let me know if I need to amp this up a little bit because I feel like I'm talking and stuff. But if I feel like I'm talking and anybody listening, let me know because I can get the going, you know? We got the energy. Feel it? We on number seven, missing the pillows, okay? So definitely check in. Slow down. Sometimes we are moving too fast. Even me. Like my cousin, sometimes she would tell me like, girl, you done been here, there, there, there in two minutes. Sit down. Slow down. Because me, I am one of those people where I always got to do something. Like right now, I feel like, why is my coffee still in the microwave and not in the bedroom with me? I'm going to go get it. Motivation in the mug just back for another week, okay? I think this is going to be like a staple piece in Affirmation Sundays, okay? And oh, just because I said this is Affirmation Sundays don't mean we're not gonna go ahead and venture off into other things. We don't always have an affirmation in a video, but we gonna, we gonna dive into different topics to help us get it together. So if you have different things that you wanna talk about on Affirmation Sundays, drop them in the comments. I listen, I hear people out, and I definitely wanna bring content that you wanna see on these Affirmation Sundays as well. Also send me affirmations on all my social medias, and let's get into number seven. I just need a sip of coffee, because your girl is like, huh? Oh, okay. All right. So last but not least, y'all. Ooh, this is so cool for me because I love to go back. I'm. Let me tell y'all first. Then we get into my story because I can. I be rambling. Okay. So this one says, right by the time where you spoke your truth and felt heard, respected, and listened to it, how did this make you feel? Okay. So. Sometimes it's okay to reflect and think about those times where you were like, you know what? I was on my game. I was buckling down. I had did everything I needed to do and I felt so powerful and I felt limitless and everything was here for me and not against me. And it just felt great. Okay. So I want you to take a story down, jot that sucker down in your journal. You, this self-discovery thing is a big one. It's a big one. What's wrong with caring about yourself? What is wrong with loving yourself? What is wrong with discovering who you are? We want other people to tell these things for validation. We don't need no validation from Nathan, okay? Those are just some of the prompts that I ran across that I was like, you know what? These stand out. And I need to tell my homies about these prompts. And we all going to journal together. So we're going to have seven day or seven prompts. You can write two a day. You can write one a day. You can go on Pinterest and find more if you want to. But y'all, let's get on this self-discovery journey together. And let's keep going. Because we have the power within us to do exactly what we want to do to nourish ourselves, to be mindful with ourselves, to be present with ourselves, to nourish who we are as beings on this planet okay because we only here for a good time not a long time as my guy drake says okay so never forget that all right go ahead and get you a journal if you don't get you some sticky notes get you a put the sticky notes on your mirror put them on your wall put them anywhere and say you know what i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna write this we have notes in our ipads our iphones our computers it ain't no it ain't no excuse okay we can do this i have faith in you i have faith in myself and all above, I have faith in God that he is going to carry us through everything we need to be carried through with, okay? We all going to be all right, even through the storms, because y'all, is raining in some of our lives right now. But guess what? The rain helped the crops, right? The rain can be soothing when you sleep, right? That lightning is temporary. All this stuff go away, and then the sun will come back and shine right on you. Or it might be a little windy. It's cool. Listen to the sounds. Find the good in everything. And that's it. And we are going to close out this video with a positive affirmation because it wouldn't be an affirmation Sunday without an affirmation. You feel me? So the affirmation that we are going to leave with is I am constantly growing into the best friend I can be to myself. We can be our own best friends. Not saying that you can't have a best friend in real life. Like, oh, I'm going to be my own best friend. I'm not going to be anybody's best friend. No, be your own best friend. Friend, we're going to get into this self-discovery journal journey together. These journal prompts are going to help us. If you want to check out more journal prompts, again, go to Pinterest. That's where I find all of mine at. These 
help me out every single day and i'm here to help you out as well so if you enjoyed today's video absolutely get this video a thumbs up please make sure you are subscribed to this channel if you haven't already also turn the notification bell on so you don't miss another time when i upload follow me on all my social media handles especially underscore sam ivory for your daily dose of positivity i love you all so much and until next sunday remember from me to you me to you y'all know how we get down remember that you are love you are loved and you are light and to end this video off with a question i want to ask you right now are you ready to have a beautiful positive week see you all in my next one be on out